are getting closer and closer to the Denver Broncos first preseason game. There's been a lot of excitement surrounding this year's team and to give you a better look at the squad we have our KREX 5 sports reporter Troy Lynch live from the Broncos headquarters. Troy, what's the latest news from training camp today? Well, Richie, today was the first day of full pads and full contact, and a lot of these players, they've been looking forward to this day all offseason. However, for rookie Sam Jones and Philip Lindsay, they've been dreaming about this day ever since they were little, and now they get to live out that dream right here from their hometown. Look at this place, man. What's well, not to love? I mean, this is where I grew up, and I'm super happy I'm back. I don't want to leave. That's why I've been all my life. I love it. Well, there's no doubt about Jones and Lindsay's passion for their home state. Both growing up so close to Denver, they're now living the childhood dream of playing pro football for the team they grew up watching. Definitely go, going to as many games as I could growing up. I was a Broncos fan, and not getting a chance to come out here and compete and play for him is his dream come true. Jones grew up in Highlands Ranch, which is about a 30-minute drive from Mile High Stadium. Coming out of high school, Rivals.com listed him as the number 23 best offensive tackle in the country, and he decided to commit to Arizona State. Really just learned how to compete down there, um, and, and then just bringing that to here is just take it to another level. Now, he's back home. He's obviously happy about that, but you'll wonder how his family reacted. Oh, that was, that was chaos, man. <laughs> I had quite a few out here today, and I'm, I'm sure there'll be more and more as, uh, as camp continues, but uh, it just means a lot to me that having the hometown people coming out and supporting me and everything, it's a lot of fun. And as for running back Philip Lindsay, he grew up in Aurora, went to Boulder to run for the Buffaloes, and now he's still here. It's a very special moment in feeling. Uh, like I said, I just want to make, make my state proud, and that's what it's about. You know, I want to make my family proud. That's it. Lindsay did wonders for the University of Colorado, becoming the school leader for all-purpose yards. However, no one drafted him. The Broncos picked two running backs in 2018, Oregon's Royce Freeman in the third round, and Arkansas's David Williams in the seventh. So I've watched Phillip for three years as a starter in a, in a major conference, and he was a great player. So we were all surprised he didn't go to the combine, and obviously uh, signing him as a free agent was tough because we drafted two backs, but we, um, we pursued him heavy, and he, he stayed home. And as you could expect, both of these players have tons of friends and family right here at training camp watching them. However, for Jones, it's a little too close for comfort, at least it might be, because he's been living with his parents for the past couple of days at a hotel. First on the Western Slope, I'm Troy Lynch. Richie, back to you.